the name of the game here at Salt is the the name the name of the game here at Salt is JavaScript. Obviously, we will be working a lot with JavaScript files and uh, typing JavaScript. So here are some very useful things that you will be doing over and over and that will you will have great use to know when you come here. So I urge you to know this by heart when you come here. Someone will say, declare a constant called name and set it to, set it to Mike. Declare a variable with let called age and set it to 18. Make an if statement that is always true. Make an if statement that checks if age is above 18. Make an if statement that checks if age is above 18 with an else branch. Should actually be like that. So that's some basic stuff. Let's now take all of this out and start over. Declare a function called check. Declare a function called check that returns true. Declare an anonymous function that returns true and set it to a constant called check. Declare a function called check that takes a parameter age and returns true if age is over 18. There's another way to write this that is much shorter. But this is what I expect you to write type if that's if you get that task. Here's another way to do this. Declare an arrow function called check. Declare an arrow function called check that takes a parameter called age. Declare an arrow function called check that takes a parameter uh, age and returns true if age is above 18. And obviously that could now be shortened again. So we could actually do con like this. Now we're gonna call functions. So I'm gonna take all of this out so you can see a little bit better. Call the function check with no parameters. Call the function check and pass the number 23 as parameter. 
call the function check, pass in the number 23 as the parameter, and store the result in a constant called hCheck. And then we're going to do some object creation here that we need to create an empty object called user. Create an, em create an object called user with a property name Mike. Create an empty array called letters. Initialize an array letters with the three string. Initialize an array letters with three strings A, B, and C. And in this case, the person didn't tell us if it was uppercase or lowercase, so that might be some clarification that you could ask for. So these are the things that I want you to know when you come to the bootcamp. That was the JavaScript boots.